Hello, Miko and Nico. Miko shoes are tied. Tie. Nico shoes are untied. Untie. So, what is the opposite word for tie? Correct. Untie. Tie and untie are opposite words. Look, Nico is outside. Out. But Miko is inside. In. Out is the opposite of in. Always remember that in and out are two opposite words. A blunt pencil and a sharp pencil. Miko's pencil is blunt. But Nico's pencil is sharp. Miko's is blunt. She can't paint well. Nico's is sharp. He can paint well. Blunt and sharp are opposite to each other. Thick and thin, two opposite words. Look at this blue line, it is thin. But look at this green line, it is thick. Thin and thick are opposite words. Now we're going to learn singular and plural. When there is only one thing, it is called singular. When there is more than one thing, it is plural. One pencil, singular. Various pencils, plural. Two opposite words, singular and plural. Simple. When something is transparent, you can see through it. When something is opaque, you can't see through it. Remember, transparent and opaque are two different words. Two opposite words. Hi, Nico. Look, so many stairs. Nico is going down. Look, here is Miko going up the stairs. So the words down and up are opposite to each other. Here's Miko and Nico having lunch. Miko has the whole pizza to eat. But Nico wasn't so lucky. He only got part of a pizza, partial. Remember, whole and partial are two opposite words. Work and play are two opposite words. Watch, Nico is working. He is watering the grass. But Miko is playing. She is having fun. We always have time to work and play. Opposite words. The word same and the word different. Look at these pencils. They are a lot alike, so they are the same. But the other pencils have different colors. They are different. Now you know that some things are different and some things are the same. Two opposite words. Goodbye. See you in the next video.